your day this is the wide shot of Becker Hall and as we can see uh, this is taken in the middle of a parking lot to get the right camera shot and there are no outlets in the area so we will have to bring in uh, backup generators to support the power and we also have to take into consideration uh, the cars going by on this street over here and sometimes the cars will come in in front of Becker Hall like this one right here and we have to account for that when we're doing the sound and recording the music um, it is also very windy out today so that also creates some noise and I'll give a 10 second ambiance so we can have a full understanding of all the noises going on on this location Right here will be the shot of Johnny and Joni walking in the front of Becker Hall. Uh, it will be a full shot of both of them walking into the building, into the doors, so we will see their backs. Uh, as you can see, the glass is very reflective and the camera equipment uh, will show. That may not be a problem if their bodies are in the way, however, uh, because of the cement here that's kind of bumpy and uh, got a hard texture to it, uh, if we're doing a dolly shot going towards them as they walk in the building, we will have to lay down a track to eliminate the noise and the friction uh, so we don't hear the wheels of the camera as the shot's being taken. Uh, there are also no power power sources out here that I know of from looking around uh, so we will just continue to use the generator that we use in the parking lot for the wide shot and we'll take a 10 second ambiance really as much noise here since we're closer to the building and not around the streets. Here is the interior day, interior day shot of Becker Hall and we will see Johnny and Joni uh, walking in the building and see their fronts come in and uh, this will be this will be a uh, medium shot of both of them walking in and the lights are kind of dim in here we have but we have like fluorescent lights, so that may be something that we will have to uh, alter, you know, maybe with a three-point lighting system or other methods in post-production. Um, and it is relatively quiet in here, but we will give a 10-second ambiance. Okay, there's just some slight um, vents and air conditioning noises that I could barely hear from here, but that will be it for that shot. However, there are also outlets available. And these outlets are right here, and we can use extension cords and stuff to get the camera's power. This is the scene where Johnny and Joni meet at the crossroads of the hallways, one here and one over here. And we can't use the outlets that we used before, else they'll be in the shot. So there are outlets for the camera um, right down here. And we also need an outlet for the jib crane if we need more than one outlet we will have to use um, power strips and we have about an eight foot ceiling with uh, fluorescent lights once again 
and the floor is reflecting. Um, if we don't want that, we can lay down more carpet uh, down the hallway. Um, and the jib crane can be set up um, right here in this corner because it's about as far away as it's going to go. And the jib crane can start down here. It may be pan left and right since we can't see both hallways at the same time. And then it can pan up to the ceiling as looking down as Johnny and Joni go their separate ways. This will be the hallway where Joni walks down and uh, says hi to uh, other students and, you know, smiles and may almost skipping. And in this shot, we can use the outlets that were found over here since they will not be in the camera shot. And if we need them, we can use these outlets too. Um, we can get Joni uh, just walking down here uh, seeing students and as she gets to the end of the hallway uh, she's going to make an abrupt left turn into another classroom and we will have a 10 second ambiance here because it sounds like there's more noise A little bit of venting and generators so we will have to eliminate that if we don't want it. This will be the classroom that Johnny walks into and we can have the camera uh, plugged in right here with these outlets so when Johnny walks in we're gonna see a medium shot of him right here walking in the classroom late and then we're gonna cut to a close-up of the professor uh, standing right here looking back at Johnny and then he's gonna turn back and then we're gonna show Johnny's face again and then we're gonna cut to a wide shot of all the kids staring back at Johnny and then we're going to tilt up and when that happens the you will hear the tune of happy birthday and that will cut to Joni in the next room uh, this room's got very dim lights so we'll have to bring in extra lighting to uh, better illuminate all the subjects in the classroom and this will be the classroom that Joni walks into. This room is also very well lit, so we will not have to bring in uh, extra lighting to illuminate it. Um, and we will not see the students at first, but we will just see uh, Joni walking in here. And it will be a medium shot of her uh, bursting into tears of joy as the class is singing happy birthday to her. For this scene, the camera can be plugged into these outlets right here. And that should summarize um, this, these bits of shots for the location scouting.